Lake Malawi is the habitat of more species of fish than any other freshwater body in the world. Unfortunately, the Lake of Stars, as it is known, has also been decimated through decades of overfishing and resource exploitation. I've been in Malawi for more than a month working on the lake and I haven't seen a single fish bigger than, <laughs> than this. It is so overexploited. It is just unbelievable. Scientific facts has it that there are less than 4% of the regional fish stocks left. There are 82 ton commercial deep ocean stern trawlers on Lake Malawi trawling the lake for whatever is left. To be on deep water and find a small dilapidated vessel with an old man sitting on it with a little bit of fish just for the day. And the criminals that do it on a much larger scale are just exporting, exporting, exporting. That's quite heartbreaking to see that. Yeah. Lake Malawi, they also have similar fish, small fish. Their markets are going to South Africa even, to Zambia mainly. Zambia is another country right in the middle there with a very large demand for fish, huge demand for fish. The beach same nets in Malawi are kilometers long and it's like 40 people pulling this net for like hours at the end and then coming in with a bucket full of small little fish like this. This, this absolutely, the lake is sterile. It is sterile because that's been overexploited and undermanaged for, for years or decades. We used to catch a lot of fish. It is indeed clear that fish catches have gone down. If nothing gets done to rectify the problem very soon, we shall be experiencing very big problems both economically and in terms of food. Between 2011 and 2014, Smartfish initiated four training programs, successfully training 45 enforcement officials. Malawians were trained to, to deal with their problems on their own. What skills do you need, whether it be leadership, financial planning, logistical planning, command and control, etc. Resources and skills to be able to challenge their own problems head on. Biggest challenge is uh, the availability of resources uh, and resources on a daily sort of scale. Things like fuel, like funding to pay salaries and per diems and maintenance. It is a fact Lake Malawi is worst off. It is already dead. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. All of these great lakes, based on scientific facts, it's a natural breeding ground. It's got the best mean temperature, natural it's sort of food sources for fish. If it's managed, it can resort back to its original state within that short of a period. Skills are in place now. The Malawi fishery officials are as willing and as dedicated to follow through. As a patriotic uh, Malawian and the staff of the Department of Fisheries, I have the passion to make sure that uh, uh, this operation is done and all the illegal gears have to be dealt with, confiscated and destroyed. We are here to, to make sure that our fish in Lake Malawi are conserved. After all that has been taught to me in this training, I think I'm confident enough that I'm going to perform it's senseless to make resources available to confront a problem just for short periods of time. Resources must be available continuously. During this whole process, the combined efforts have been extremely successful. There was no MCS being done by the Malawian government. The fishermen could do anything which they want to. As a result of the efforts of Smartfish, 60 tons of fishing gear has been confiscated and destroyed, making a big impact on illegal fishing in the area. The biggest success definitely is the fact that somebody was brave enough to go onto Lake Malawi in a grouped and organized manner and literally face death in the execution of your work. It's still bottom line, but the fact that something happens creates a vacuum for more to happen. Malawians are proud of this lake. We are proud of this lake. And we are passionate about bringing back the growth of the lake. We are dedicated and we are eager to do everything possible to keep the lake. People should fish and fish for a long time to come. It can be revived, however, if an entity like the Smart Fish Program or the CRI involve themselves actively and constantly and permanently. Proper MCS day in and day out. Then Lake Malawi can be a success story the same way that Lake Victoria is busy turning around. Mm -hmm.